Today I'm showing you every tools that you can use inside of Lightroom to color grade your photos. So I am in Lightroom, I opened this photo that's a raw image um, that I shot in Prague. And uh, here I haven't done anything, I just did a few things with the light, um, something like this. So I added a bit more exposure, uh, opened the shadows a little bit. And yeah, that's uh, what I did. And now uh, we are going to dive into everything we can use uh, inside of Lightroom to color grade our image. So let's uh, start with the section that is called color. So here you have different tools that are going to be uh, very interesting. So first of all, we, are, we have the color temperature. So if you shot in a raw format, it's completely customable. Um, here you can see the temperature is more towards blue, but you can really change that. It's going to change the mood of your photo. So here, for example, if uh, my idea is to emphasize this sunset or sunrise vibe, so here this shot was shot, this photo was shot at sunrise. So if I want to emphasize this um, glow from the sunrise, I can go more towards um, yellow. But if I wanted to maybe turn it into a beginning of the night, I could go more towards uh, blue. And it also gives a vibe that is like maybe winter vibe. It's really cold outside. Um, to go more towards blue will give you, will give more of this uh, either night vibe or cooler vibe. Different with uh, if you go more towards yellow. So here I kind of like something a bit more golden. So I'm going to go with that. Um, then you have the tint. It's also going to help you to give um, a a different color vibe in the wall image. So here we are really working on the wall image for now. So it's going to affect all the colors in the image. So here I'm just going to show you what happens if I go more towards green, it's adding more greens in the wall image. If I go more towards magenta, it adds more magenta. So it kind of depends and it might help you to balance the color in your image here the color are naturally well balanced so um, i don't want to change too much how it was so i'm gonna go back to plus 16 which was the initial setting now you have vibrant and saturation saturation is going to saturate the wall image and really exaggerate all the colors while vibrance do it in a more subtle way so really uh, if you can't see the difference uh, look at this area here. Here we are 100% of vibrance. If I do the same with saturation, you can see that it's really like breaking the color almost of the orange. Also, if you want to uh, go back to zero on any adjustment, you can just double click on the adjustment and go back to zero. So here maybe adding a bit of vibrance is interesting. But of course, here I'm showing you the settings. I'm exaggerating. Uh, the slider so you can really see the difference but never go 100% with one adjustment doesn't make sense in most of the time so yeah just be subtle here I'm not actually looking at the number I'm looking at the photo and yeah something like that is interesting now we have the color mixer that some people call it also HSL because this is U saturation and luminance and here we are starting to uh, really target specific colors. So we, we are not working on the wall image anymore. We are really targeting one color. So here, for example, uh, I choose uh, orange tones and I can play with the hue, the saturation and the luminance. So with the uh, hue, if I go more towards magenta, it's adding magenta to the orange tones only. If I go more towards the green, it does the same. So it affects only the orange tones. Okay. Same for saturation. It's going to saturate only the orange tones or desaturate. And same for the luminance. Something interesting to know is that uh, if you add, if you want to add more intensity to a color, usually going down with luminance is going to up uh, doing that. So I find that usually on red, if you go more 
if you uh, go down with luminance add a bit of saturation it's going to look nice um, you can look at the roofs or the kind of window here on the church before and after before and after it adds more intensity so here i think that uh, the red on the roofs are a mix of red and orange yeah exactly so you can see before and after and here to target the roofs i been uh, playing with red and oranges okay here the problem is that uh, my settings on the orange also affect every other orange tones as you can see before and after so a way to fix that is to create mask but there will be another videos on advanced masking so here we are really targeting only the orange but all the orange of the image so you can do that for all um, the colors. Then something else I'm going to show you is color grading. So this panel is very interesting to create uh, something that is called split toning. So what is split toning? This is when you add one color in the shadows and another one, like uh, usually the complementary color uh, in the highlight. So here, what I usually like to do in my colors is to add some blue in the shadows so what i do is that here you can see there is three different color wheel so i choose the wheel where it's called shadows and then i'm going to go towards blue so look at those little numbers when i'm moving the dots here look at those numbers and if i go in the outside of the wheel i'm going to affect the saturation and if i uh, turn around I'm affecting the hue. So here I'm gonna choose something like this. I don't want it to be too saturated. And then to affect the luminance, I use this slider here. So I can either go up or go down to uh, reduce the luminance. So here I'm just gonna choose something like this. And then I'm gonna choose the opposite color. So kind of between orange and yellow uh, for the highlights. And then I'm going to go up for luminance and you can see before and after before and after it helps to create a nice uh, color grade on your photo but this is still uh, really subtle so now that we have worked on this uh, color panel there are other ways that you can uh, work on colors and this is by opening this light window and opening the curve so with curves you can really do a lot of things Thanks to the channels that are here. So you can see we have the uh, red channel, we have the green channel and the blue channel. And when we click on each of those channels, uh, you can see that here there is some kind of red on this corner here. And here the opposite color is cyan. As you might know, and I have another video on curves if you don't know how to use curves, but here this is uh, affecting the shadows and here this is affecting the highlight. So let's say I want to do a split toning without using the color uh, grading tool here. I want to uh, maybe have something stronger. So I'm gonna go on the blue channel and I'm gonna go up in the shadows like this. And if I want to add a yellow, in the highlight, I'm just going to create a dot or use this one. Or here, I'm going to create another dot and go down because yellow is the opposite color of blue. So what's interesting with curves is that you can add some dots so it doesn't affect the shadow part of the curve. Because here, if I move this, you can see it's also moving this part. So the more dots you add, the less is going to affect the other parts of uh, the curve okay and you can do the same if you want something more like orange in the highlight we added some um, yellow and by adding some red is going to create something more like orange so let's add one dot here and then i'm going to go up with the red but not too much to create this orange uh, glow okay nice so look now with few adjustments, we already uh, give a wall completely different uh, vibe to our image. So here you might like or not like it. I personally don't really like it because I was just showing how the tools work. But then when you know how the tools work, you can really decide in which direction you want to take your color grading. And I really recommend to 
don't use uh, presets all the time or if you use presets then really dive into it and look at what has changed in the settings so you can really learn how to create your own color grading and then all those settings are also available when you create mask but this is a story for another video i hope you like this video about the basics of color grading in Lightroom.